it's Jane. <laughs> so today I'm gonna be telling you what I don't like and what I do like. Actually, no, what I hate about your sign. And I'm a Pisces. Um, my birthday is March third. So if I talk about Pisces the most, you know why. I feel, I feel like it's going to be like, oh, you're attacking your own sign. Well, yeah, I'm attacking myself on the things I need to prove on. Anyways, let's get like into it, I guess. Also, if you hear the... That's my chair. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Yes, it's a completely different day from the intro you just watched. We're going to pretend like it's not. Um, because... I don't care um the first clip was way too long and i didn't feel like having the video be 40 minutes so we're re-recording it and if you don't like it that seems like a problem for you to deal with doesn't it <laughs> i don't know if i'm gonna leave the times in the description box in the comments or on the screen either or the times are here if you need them we're gonna go in order I'm a Pisces, like I said previously, so we're going to start with Aries. Um, Aries, a fire sign. My best friend is an Aries. I'm going to say like two things about each sign, two good things about each sign, and then um, the rest is going to be bad. So, Aries, you guys are very good friends, very loyal to your friends, which is really good because you guys know, like, you're not the type of people who are going to be fake and like, you know, those, like, the fake friends who are going to be like, you know, when you're looking crusty, they're going to tell you, you look crusty? Yes. So, but at the same time, you guys are, like, great with judgment, which can be a good and a bad thing. Because sometimes it's like, are you guys judging people incorrectly or correctly? Like, are you judging them off of this or that? And I don't... <laughs> I'm looking at the list right now and you guys like to be right and in control like you guys are known for winning and wanting to win arguments and getting the last word and if you don't get the last word it's like you're gonna continue the argument until you get the last word because you just like to win the arguments <clears throat> I think I'm getting sick so Taurus you guys I'm a Pisces. Count how many times I say I'm a Pisces. And if you get it right, I'm going to give you a dollar. I'm going to cash up you a dollar. So, I'm a Pisces and they say Taurus and Pisces are supposed to be compatible. I don't think I have any Pi Taurus friends. Like, I think I used to have some. But, like, it's not like we got into fights to just, like, different paths, I guess. I'm talking about nothing. Okay, let's continue. So, you guys are known to be stubborn, obviously. The Taurus is the bull, and you guys just, like, are stubborn. I don't... When people tell you go do... When people tell you one thing, you, like, you just decide to do whatever you want to go do. And I'm like... You don't... Like, it's just, like, you guys don't want to listen. And it's... some. It gets annoying sometimes, let's be honest. But you guys are also pretty chill. And you guys also are resentful of like any like anything people tell you. And you could be very blunt, like with anything. They're like they're just like straight to it, like no sugar coating, no nothing. I think they're earth signs. Yeah, they're earth signs. So you guys are just very, very blunt with everything. And you like, you, these are the type of people who aren't going to lie to you in your face and pretend that it's good when it's not. But you guys are loyal and stuff. You guys can be aggressive. Like, sometimes, especially when you're mad, like, you guys are aggressive and stubborn. Like, you guys can be aggressive and stubborn both times. And the last thing, Taurus are known for having an eye for the finer things in life, you know. Which may come off as materialistic. Like, literally. Sometimes it's just, like, out of... Oh, let's go get another... Let's go to this luxury store. And it's, like, sometimes it seems like you guys are being materialistic. Even though that's not your intent. And so it comes off that way. Sometimes. Also, shout out to the hole in my wall. I feel like every video I have to point it out. <laughs> okay. 
Gemini, Gemini's. My friend Brianna, she's a Gemini, and this is like <laughs> how Gemini's are. You guys are secretive, and I didn't realize this until like when I actually sat down and thought about it. Gemini's will know so much about you, and you'll know like little details about them. Like you won't know much about them, like especially about their emotions. You guys like are one of the type of signs who don't really express emotions like that. But, like, you guys, especially if it's, like, sadness, you don't express, like, your emotions rarely, like, actually. If you, like, I don't, like, at this, like, just show emotion, please. Like, I know you're not always happy. And I know, like, it's just always, I don't know. But it's, like, just show the emotions. And some people, like... Some people say you're fake because of the twins. That's like their thing, you know? So, I feel like you guys have two sides, basically. Not that you guys are fake, just two sides. There's a side where this, this, this. But there's also this other side that people don't get to see that much. Where you guys are like, I don't know. I guess that's more of your emotions, which like, you know? Emotions and all the other stuff you don't want people to know. I guess, like, I don't know. But I do know. But I don't. <sighs> wow, that's actually all I wrote. <laughs> I'm like, what is this? Oh, no, it's not. Telling your opinion. This I almost forgot to say, which is one of the reasons me and my friend always, friend always get into fights. She always has something to say when nobody asks for your opinion. Thank you. I almost forgot. Nobody asks. Please stop stating your please stop stating your opinion. Nobody questioned. Nobody pondered. Nobody inquired. Thank you. Cause it's like the type of people when you'll post something on Snapchat, it's like, but what about this? What about that? And I'm like, but what if she I'm like, did we ask? Did I question? Did I ponder? Why are you stating your opinion? I hope that charger in the background is upsetting you guys. <laughs> Next sign. Cancers. My mom's a cancer. Did anybody... Was there... Am I the only one who saw that? I swear I just saw a puff of smoke. Also, um... Yikes. Cancers. My mommy's a cancer. So... You guys can be invasive. And I thought, like, oh, maybe it's just my mom who's like this. No. It's so many of you guys. It's, like, invasive in particular ways. You, like, I'll usually think, like, oh, it's just my mom. You know, moms just are invasive in general. But, like, this is a particular type. It's not, like, regular inv invasive. Like, oh, I want to know this detail and this detail. It's, like, yeah, let me know this. Like, they're the type of people who like look into here and look into there like they'll look into everything you guys can be crabby since you guys are the crabs you know you guys want like i swear sometimes my mom's emotions change so quickly i'm like you were just happy like literally but it gets annoying but it's also like you guys are really nice people and really caring next you guys can be suspicious. Like, you guys, that's what makes you guys invasive. You guys are suspicious about everything. Like, everything and anywhere. Who are you with? Like, and that also plays into you guys being possessive. Like, who are you with? Who did the... Da, 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 da. It's like a three... It's like three together. Like, all together. And they all connect. Sometimes you guys just want validation for some things. Like, should I go do this? It's not like, oh, do I look good in this no it's like validation to do certain things like you know you know what well, as i was saying you got you uh mm. ariana grande is a cancer and her song needy basically it describes what I mean by those three things but 
You guys are known for being emotional. It's just a water sign thing. Like, we're in touch with our emotions and stuff. You know, I don't... Like, what else is there to say? Like... Leo. Leos. I'm a Leo moon, so... I think I'm fully qualified to say this. <laughs> so, Leos. You guys are known for being the most self-absorbed people in the zodiac sign. And when I mean self-absorbed, I'm not talking like... Yes, I'm, I'm, I don't know if you know this, but I'm staring at myself in the mirror right now. <laughs> Anyways, you guys are just known. It's not like self-absorbed, like, oh, I'm obsessed with myself necessarily. It's like, let me talk about myself in a conversation, which I do a lot. Like, I'll divert attention like somebody will talk about themselves and i'll start talking about myself if that makes sense like some things like that and you guys can be very demanding because like you want things done like now and you guys like aren't patient you want it done and you're like now like do you guys demand for some things to happen as like you want it you guys can be very dramatic especially when it comes to things and i know i am very dramatic especially like when i don't get what like when i don't get what i want i'm like i wanted it and why is it not here why is it not done you guys can be bossy and that's plays into you guys being demanding like you guys want to be in charge you want to do this i know bretman rock is like um, a Leo, and he's not really, I don't know, I can't even say he's self-absorbed, but he, <laughs> but he's like, you can say, yes, he is Leo, like, you can tell, he's a Leo. Oh. Tell me this kind of doesn't look like a, like a volcano, <laughs> you see, like, I'm like, why am I making this so difficult for me to edit? Virgo, this recording next. Virgo, I am a Virgo rising. My rising is Virgo. You guys can be overcritical and perfectionist. Like you guys, when something isn't right, you want it to be perfect, and it doesn't always have to be perfect. We like, I the amount of times I have ripped out notes and redone them because they were not good, and I'm like so overcritical of myself. I'm like, but what if this? What if that? What if this? Like, stop overthinking it and just do it and it's just like when you guys when we like you guys do that it makes you guys so much more anxious just in general this whole video is crooked and i can like that's better so you guys can be so like over like always overthinking it doesn't need to be good you guys are worrying thinking and stuff like that and you guys can be like become obsessed with like making sure that everything is like perfect it doesn't have to be perfect it's okay it's okay you're doing good you're doing fine it's okay what you did it's not it doesn't have to be good it doesn't it's already good you don't have to redo it you don't have to overthink it it's good i almost um, i almost forgot to say this but it's a good that you guys are perfectionists because when you guys put your like a lot of effort into something you guys know it's going to be good. Like, Beyonce, she's a Virgo. <laughs> Beyonce, she's a Virgo. And you, if you watch, like, her documentary of how she was making, like, the Coachella thing, she, like, you saw how good it was. She wanted to be perfect. And it's not. And it was amazing. Anyways, Libra. My dad's a Libra. Um, you guys are known for being indecisive. And I never realized that my dad was indecisive until... I sat down and thought about it. He has, like, I don't think he ever chooses things. Like, it's always asking Jane, what do you think about it? And they're kind of really dependent. And that's like, be independent. Thank you. It's more like, oh, let's go to the mall because I can't go by myself. Let's go here together because I can't go there. Like, he's invited my mom to go places that my mom honestly didn't go need to go to. 
like he was buying a bed for my brothers and my mom had no hand of this he was going to pay for it all but she he was like oh let's go let's go let's all go you know like it's that type of dependency I'm trying to see you and you have to be very impatient and I know my dad he's always like hurry up hurry up hurry up and I'm like I, can I can I take my time because I don't like being rushed but it's like hurry up hurry up hurry up and you guys can like you guys don't like conflict and can be very avoided and I know like if I get into an argument with my dad he's like just gonna it's just like usually silent treatment I'm not gonna talk to you like I'm not gonna talk to you I'm not going to deal with it and the argument like as soon as possible or whatever and stuff like that. But you guys are very funny. Like I don't understand how you guys are so funny. It's actually crazy. I don't know where you guys come up with these jokes from because it's the most random things and they're always funny. It's like I haven't met a Libra that isn't funny. It's just the way it is. The Libra, funny, period. Scorpio, my other fellow water sign. I have had Scorpio friends and stuff, and I have realized you guys are secretive and distant, and this is how. So, I think just all water signs are secretive. Like, what out of all these signs, you guys are one of the most secretive people ever, and it's crazy to me how secretive you guys are and how good you guys are at being so secretive like actually crazy and you guys could just be very like distant from people like the secretiveness plays into you guys being distant like it just goes hand in hand let's be honest and next thing jealous i have not like i cannot sit here and tell you i haven't met a scorpio who hasn't been jealous about something or told me like my sister got this and i didn't get it and i was really mad about it i'm like it's it's okay. You're not going to get the same things your sister got. It's okay. I'm thinking about like one person in particular who used to tell me, oh, my sister does this and I, I, she doesn't get in trouble for it. But as soon as I do it, da, 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 and I'm like, it's just the jealousy constantly. I think I'm going to sneeze. Okay, no. Um, that's so annoying. Not being able to sneeze. You guys are manipulative in your own like ways. Um, like, it's just, oh, since you guys are so jealous, you guys know how to manipulate people to get what you want. So, like, I just don't know how you guys do it. It's just, like, me the way your mind is set up, like, just moving things around. But, like, you have to go do that for me. And that's the way I want it to be done. And it's going to happen because I want it to happen. <laughs> Sagittarius. Sagittarius. At this point, I feel like people are getting sick and tired of me sipping my water. I don't care. Anyways, sometimes you guys can be overconfident. And, like, overconfident either in yourself, which is, like, it's not a bad thing to be confident. But, like, it, okay, we get it. You don't have to be this confident about everything. But at the same time, be confident in the things you do. But not to an extreme extent because that can really, like, hurt you at the same time when you're too over like when you're too confident about something and it doesn't end up going that way that you expected it to and then you're just like and you have to be emotional but you guys are also one of those signs who try not to show your emotions but you guys do at the same time and it's like it's like the, oh, I, they're like the people like, yeah, no, I don't have emotions. They then call you the next day crying, you know? And like, just say, you have the emotions. You guys are also very, you guys can be blunt, like, just cut off bluntness. And I'm like, wow. Like, another sign that will not sugarcoat anything and will tell you it, like, how it is. Um... But you guys are also very generous, but also possessive. Let me tell, I'm like, you guys are generous, but also possessive. Think about Joe from you. Of course, definitely not to this extent, but everybody I know, well, 
like they're usually the type of people like oh why are you hanging out with them you know how joe from you will like stop anyone who tries to get in the way of his relationship with whoever that girl he is with or what or whatever same thing not to the extent of him but you guys are like who are you with um that's not a good person to be around da -da 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 this da -da -da. you know same like basically the same thing let's be honest and you guys have like strong anger like randomly like just strong anger it's like when you're mad you're mad like it's it's a different type of mad. Like, most people are just like, okay, I'm mad. But you're like, I'm mad. Yeah. <laughs> Capricorn. My brother. He is a Capricorn. <laughs> Why am I talking like that? Imagine if I talk like that. My brother is a Capricorn. So, you guys are known for being very ambitious. And I can see that in my brother. And that's a good thing. But it's also a bad thing. Let me tell you how. You guys, if it's like a different ambition, that you, if it's an ambition that you guys are focusing on, say you are focusing on doing something like YouTube, right? You guys will focus on other things less, whether that be um, school, if you're in school, your current job, or your relationships with people. And it's like, focus on people like and you guys i people tell taurus they're stubborn capricorns so 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 stub so so stubborn like i swear they don't want to listen to a single thing you tell them to do a single thing like the stubbornness like their stubbornness is literally crazy and i've never met, met someone so stubborn other than like a capricorn like actually just a capricorn just stubborn just stubborn i don't i don't think people will tell capricorns how stubborn they are they are and they can be very pessimistic like you will be like yeah this 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 and they'll tell you they'll just come out of nowhere with something sad i'm like we were all happy what why are you where did what why is no one was and they're just i'm like we were all happy why is this what why are you talking about something that's sad it's like out of nowhere too but you guys are also very practical but you guys are not, never satisfied with things. Never satisfied with things. Maybe that what's what fuels your ambition. Never being satisfied with anything. But it gets annoying. Like, you will want something for so long. And then when you finally get it, you're not even happy with it. And that's exactly what my brother does. And I'm, like, it's so annoying. Because, like, we did this. We did that. You finally got it. And now you're not even, like satisfied or nothing and you guys can be like so weird like do the weirdest things i like regular people do not do that i'm saying regular people you guys are regular people majority of people do not do that like yeah it's just the weirdest thing it's like i think you guys just do it purposely too it's just like and last thing you guys are inappropriate some of the things you guys say highly highly inappropriate I don't know where you guys come up with it. It's just inappropriate in general. I'm like, if you're saying this out loud, what is going on in your brain? What is going on in there? Because you're saying it like out loud. What is like what is going on in the brain? I'm kind of confused, kind of. <laughs> Aquarius. My aunt and Aquarius. I don't think I know many Aquariuses. Maybe when I was younger, I don't know. Okay, first thing, you guys are friendly. I do not know a single Aquarius who doesn't have a bunch of friends. Like, every single Aquarius I have, they're the type of people who have, like, friends. Like, maybe, like, a good amount of friends in each class. And, like, they're never really worried about, hey, am I going to go to, like, 8th period and have no one to talk to? Because I don't think I know a single Aquarius who just doesn't have bunch of friends and i'm like how do you guys have all these friends i 
they just are so good at making friends it's actually unbelievable which is a really good thing because you guys can just make it's like easy for you it's like second nature you know but you guys are pride full like so full of pride like okay we get it like you don't have to be that prideful and you guys have such an I don't care personality and this is why people call you guys heartless because you guys I know you guys have like you feel your emotions deeply but you guys are the type of people to pretend like you don't and you guys pretend like you don't care so much and I know you guys do like I know for a fact you do care about your emotions a lot I don't know why you pretend like you don't we all know you do you just pretend like you care so much to the point we know you care you know like we know you don't have to pretend and you guys don't get attached to people which is kind of good because like i guess you get hurt less but at the same time it's okay it's okay to get attached sometimes and you guys might come off as like judgmental to some people and Anyways, but at the same time, you guys are just being blunt, and that's, I don't know, that's just the way it is. And last, you guys are good friends. You guys have a lot of friends, are good friends to all of them, so. Ooh. This looks so chapped, it's actually unbelievable. Pisces, my sign, and my brother's sign, my I still look, my lips still look chopped. Okay, so we are known for being secretive. Well, not really. I don't think people know this much, like, about us. Because we make you think you know so much, but you know, like, the tip of the iceberg. Like, it's just the way, like, we manipulate our words in a certain way to make you think you know a lot, but you don't know a lot. You only know, like, <laughs> basically bare minimum things, like, and if you know, like, more than the tip of the iceberg, we're really close. Like, <laughs> Pisces, we could be a little too indulgent. And when I mean indulgent, that plays into us being lazy, too. We, like, oh, let's go take the nap. Let's not, let's go do this instead of going do this. Like, we understand you, like, take care of yourself. But at the same time, prioritize things, things, um... And sometimes you guys can be out of touch with reality because you guys daydream a lot and just dream in, a lot in general. Um, that's not good because you need to actually focus on what's going on in real life instead of always being in this dreamland that's like making everything seem nice and perfect. Like, you, it doesn't always have to be perfect, you know? Like... You are so out of touch of reality, like, and we just do it because reality is just not good right now. Like, if we're not happy with what's going on, then we'll just, like, dream about it being good and, you know, or just, like, dream about anything. And that, like, what makes you guys, like, form such strong emotions about things because you guys dream about it so much, which makes you guys, like, when you have crushes, you fall so hard. It's actually unbelievable. And we, uh, also, another trait with every single water sign, you guys are known for being emotional. And me being a Pisces, I know it goes high highs, low lows. So, it's either like you're super happy or you're super unhappy. It's never in the middle. It's never really just neutral. It's either you're really happy or you're just not happy at all. It's like, I don't, it's just like when you guys are happy... You want to be around everybody. You want to talk to everybody. But when you guys aren't happy, it's like crying all the time and stuff. But we're all, you guys are also me. <laughs> I need to stop. <laughs> my voice just cracked and I... My voice cracked again. Thanks. Um. Anyways, you guys are very selfless and stuff. And you guys like are kind and you guys being selfless and kind and not wanting to let anybody down can play into you guys not wanting to say no like when it comes to the time where you have to say no you guys don't say it it's like just say no 
it's simple but you guys are like no i don't want to say no like you have to do it and you guys fear rejection and this is bad because um you guys have crushes right and fear rejection why are you like okay whatever no that's terrible because you guys fall like so deep for your crushes and stuff but you guys will not ask them out because you're in fear of them not liking you back and stuff like that it's just always in constant fear of this and that and you guys are just so f afraid of rejection i used to like read those things and they were like yeah if i start f afraid of rejection i'm like i'm a pisces i'm not afraid of rejection until i had crushes like especially when i was younger and i didn't really have much crushes now i'm like yeah yeah i just can't tell my crush i like them because that's kind of fear it's kind of scary and playing into the crush and rejection thing you guys are hopeless romantic stop it because you guys live in the clouds and like to think that hey this is how it's gonna happen and it's gonna be like you know like love movies and romantic comedies on crack but no it's actually gonna be nothing of that sort and it's like Sorry to break it to you, but it's not how it's gonna go. Sorry. Um, it's like I'm talking to myself. Like, sorry to break it to you, Jane, but stop. <laughs> Ew. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Overthinking. Overthinking. I'm like overthinking. You guys just, like, we all overthink, but, like, to the extent of Pisces, like, overthink it inside out. Like, the amount of times I've been afraid to leave my room because I'm, like, there's a killer outside my door and I'm overthinking, like, oh, what was that sound? Oh, what, like, their body language said this. What are they thinking about me? What are they talking about me? Do they even like me? Like, they, like, stop. It it's literally doesn't matter that much. And you guys like to get what you want. And that, like... You guys just have to get what you want. It has to happen. And it's like... If it doesn't happen... <laughs> I don't think... Like, I don't know how we do it. We just get what we want. That's all for the video. Um, I don't know what else to say. That's all, like... Oh my gosh, you know those, like, TikTok videos? How they used to be, like, chill my thing fell it broke again my tripod broke anyways bye like oh my gosh wait i think i should show you this is my tripod it's supposed to go like that right it's a phone tripod and as you can see she broke in and I glued her back together and she broke off again. Yikes.